the Mars Curiosity rover has to be one of the coolest things that we as humanity have ever built. The rover is actually pretty large. Obviously, there's a person standing next to it. And take a look at that guy right there. That is what's called the UHF antenna. And of all the things that we've gotten to machine over years, participating in some of the replica science work for some of these rovers is just amazing. So today, let's show how we built this replica version of this UHF antenna on the Tormach Slant Pro and then on the fourth axis. Welcome to another Wednesday widget. One of the problems that we are guilty of here is not having a deep enough depth of cut to activate the chip breaker when we're taking our finishing pass. Super easy and common to make this mistake uh, on the lathes. We've become quite good at making this mistake. The two options are either increase your depth of cut or you can switch to a different tool that has a smaller nose radius that's going to have a reduced depth of cut to still activate that chip breaker, prevent those birds nesting, improve your surface finishes, and run a safer machine. Okay, time out. That was not ideal. So normally with a lathe, we cut from the outside in. And I saw that toolpath. I asked Jared, I said, hey, why were you cutting from the inside out? That strikes me as unusual. He had been experimenting with it. And what he was trying to do was get one continuous toolpath that worked out and included a nice face of that part and that outside radius. So awesome intent. I would do it a little differently if we had to do it 
again. And let's take a look at that. The problem here is you've got a relatively small diameter in the 5C collet. You've got a little bit of stick out. You heard some chatter. We could play with some speeds and feeds, but I think the better way to solve that would be to split these tool paths out. I would have a separate facing operation whose sole job is going to be to walk down the face that part and clean up the front face. Then I would add a profile operation Checking rest machining is going to recognize that it doesn't need to reface that part. And then under the linking move, make sure you've got a healthy lead in radius and an angle. And what that's going to do is give us a real nice sweeping lead in and lead out. And that's going to help minimize any appearance of any blend line as it comes through and cuts that radius. Jared ended up moving our Z plane back one thou, recutting that off camera and it worked great. If you remember back to Wednesday Widget 84, card here to that video, we machined the wheels for this lunar robot in a partnership with Beatty Robotics. And we were flattered when they reached back out to us to help machine some parts for this one-tenth scale Curiosity Mars rover. Here is the finished rover, link in the video description to the Beatty Robotics website. We think this whole project just turned out awesome and really want to give a shout out to Beatty Robotics. They've done a number of really cool uh, robotic projects and some of them are in some pretty cool museums and helping inspire the next generations of machinists and engineers and scientists. And we really think this thing looks just absolutely awesome. You can see the finished antenna right there 
And stick around, folks. We made some other parts for this robot, including these linkage bars right here. So those, those may just be upcoming Wednesday widgets as well. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. The CAD and CAM Fusion 360 file for this part are available to download on the NYC CNC website. Again, link in the video description. We appreciate Beatty Robotics allowing us to share those to help you guys learn how to make parts like this. Otherwise, folks, take care. See you next Wednesday.